regret. The things I could have done differently or learned sooner. There's so much knowledge out there, so much information, so many ways to get better. And we make so many mistakes. We are the product of our mistakes. And oftentimes the lesson is sitting in front of our face, there to be learned. But we miss it. Oh, we don't pay attention to it. Oh, we think we know better until it punches us in the face. Why is it that most people don't ever reach their goals or live up to their true potential? One is fear. And there are only two kinds of fears that we're born with. The fear of falling and the fear of a loud sound. All other fears we learn, like the fear of failure. We all fail. It's okay. What is not okay is that when you fail, you stay down. Whoever stays down is a loser. And winners will fail and get up. Fail and get up. Fail and get up. You always get up. That is a winner. There are some things in life that are out of your control that you can't change and you're gonna live with. The choice that we have though is either to give up or keep on going. 95% of our decisions are made by how you feel in the moment. And that is the problem. Do you feel like getting up? No. Do you feel like making that cold call? No, you don't. Do you feel like doing that third set of reps? No, you don't. We make decisions based on our feelings and that is robbing you of joy and opportunity. Fight. Go down swinging. And I'll tell you, if you fight with all you have, more often than not, you won't go down at all. You will win. But you have to make that attitude a part of your everyday life. Do the extra repetition. Run the extra mile. Go the extra round. Make the right choices. Give the full measure. The one thing I know about emotions is that they change. One hour from right now, you will not feel the same way. And I want to encourage you tonight that you might be in your darkest moment. You might be going through hell and high water. But I know this, it is always too soon to quit. You have a reason to live. Your best days are in front of you. Get up. Your future is brighter than your past. Get up. Your ladder is greater than your former. Get up. Because the best is still yet to come. To become a warrior. We must betray the victim in us. And you can either make excuses or make history. Choose one. I will be real with you. You underperforming. That's right. You underperforming. You way better than this and you know it. You know it inside. You know inside you are better than this. It is time to show the world. You know you are meant for more than this. This lack of discipline, this lack of commitment, this failure to make the decision to go all in is putting your future, your destiny in jeopardy. Because real lions like to hunt. They love the process just as much as they love the prize. And some of y'all just want to score. You're not in love with the process. And there's some of you, you know what you want, but you are not personally willing to do the work it takes to get it. What you're trying to do is do what you've done on this level and get the next level. Stop running from it and run to it. Stop telling me what you're going through. The greats, they get to it, they go through it. Put yourself in a position where you can't retreat, where it's do or die, sink or swim. So as we look at the future, we can decide that from this day forward, I'm going to do all I can do to develop me. Every day you say no to your dreams, you might be pushing your dreams back a whole six months, a whole year, that one single day. That one day you didn't get up could have pushed your stuff back. I don't know how long. It's not about winning. It's the battle itself. It's the struggle. It's the daily test. That's what life's about. 
Everyone likes that warm bed. Everyone needs just five more minutes of slumber in the morning. So they hit snooze. They roll over. They go back to sleep. Are those 15 minutes that sweet that you're going to push back your dream, that you're going to push back your goal, 